Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight. Welcome back to another episode of RimWorld. When we last left off, we had activated the monolith, started our journey into madness and depravity or something of that general nature, worked on building up our things a little bit, and uh, killed our first anomaly. That's also worth pointing out. Its corpse is feeding our delicious harbinger trees down here. So, you know, they're, they're probably pretty happy. And we have the Chokemen coming to choke us. Or this guy, this 51-year-old man with a, a knife and a scratch scar. He's pretty good at mining, though, and not a terrible cook. And he's also able to shoot. And he's a dirt mole. But he does have a chemical interest that could cause us some problems. Can't do dumb labor, either, or cleaning. Which is unfortunate. Uh, let's get our two... I, I am still somewhat salty, but bringing... Bringing a soldier who can't even soldier didge. Soldier Can't do soldier stuff. Also, there's a bunch of steel lying in the river here. And possibly other resources elsewhere. We'll kinda we'll kinda see how that is. Also, I think I just wanna say it now, just to cover my bases. Uh then these first couple of episodes are probably gonna be gonna be a little bit of me fiddling with uh, my audio settings and stuff. Do I really want to kill him and feed him to the tree? I mean, it is for science. So we'll just beat this, you know, 51-year-old man to death. I mean, I don't... Wait, 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 wait. The Chokemen. What is their faction? The Legion of Raiding? Oh, yeah, they, these guys. I can't make them friends, so... I won't bother. Just punch him. There you go. All right, feed him to the trees. The trees demand blood. Blood for the blood tree. Or something like that. As you can see, we're definitely a very ethical evil corporation over here. Everyone's got their beds. No one is happy, though. You do not have power. That's a little bit of a problem. Hidden conduit. Don't know if I need a hidden conduit there, but I'm going to put one there anyway. And we'll call it a day, I think. Yeah, look at that. Everything is coming together. Uh, the break risks, I'm not quite so pleased with. We should probably start growing some booze, maybe some smoke leaf. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Where do we want to grow these things? Okay, someone's going to go mad soon. That is unfortunate for him or her. I didn't really bother checking. Okay, so you are going to grow. We, we do need to start making food as well at some point in the not too distant future. That's probably key. But, you know, we did start with a, a very, very, some would say overly generous uh, helping of, of uh, stuff. I think I tried to get it so this would maybe last like half a year before we have to worry about food. Because again, like, most of the time in RimWorld, the premise is that you're like, you know, some group of people who like accidentally landed here. I really wanted the feel of like, this is a professional, quote unquote professional, uh, team who was actually prepared to arrive here and like this is, you know, they know what they're doing. Maybe. Yeah, Alex, you don't seem in... Oh my god. Yeah, life is, uh, life is not going to be great for a little while, but once everyone starts getting their own rooms, that's, that's when things are going to start looking nice. And I do want to start putting in some auto doors. Not everywhere. I think, like, maybe the bedrooms will get auto doors. How much power does an auto door actually use? I mean, surely it's not that much. 50 watts? Good lord. Maybe I should have given myself more vanometric cells. Just, just make, make it real easy. But uh, no, in all seriousness, I think. Uh... Oh, also, question to self: Do I start replacing the stone walls in here with artificial walls? It also occurs to me. Yeah, I kind of. Wait, 
Can I not? I can't replace. I can't. I have to mine the wall. Oh, oh that makes me so angry. Why can't I just cue it in place? Why? Why must you be so cruel, game? Tempting me to put in mods once more. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with mods, you know, it's just... Oh my god, someone's pregnant! Oh, it's a horse. Oh yeah, that's right, you may be wondering, why did you bring all horses, Gaslight? And it's because I read somewhere before I started that apparently horses are like one of the most efficient sources of meat in the game, so... Yeah. That's, uh... That's pretty much it right there. That heat wave is still ongoing, huh? Good lord. Good lord. I mean, I'm not seeing any uh, warnings of heat stroke, so I, I think we're okay there for now. Uh, what's the, oh, Panoxy Psyline maybe would be good. Oh, wait, 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 I forgot the whole thing. We, we were talking about security doors. Thought I was gonna forget that, didn't you? And if you did, well, you know, you probably would have been right. I'm actually curious. I feel like we're getting a lot more uh, chunks than usual. Did the mining have any effect on that? Surely not, but then again, I think if I smooth the walls, I can then can't. No, no. Again, it's a, I, you know what? I think the one mod I might put this playthrough is the ability to um, build in place. You know, just replace existing walls and things. Because it's just so, just so dang handy. It would be wrong not to use it. We'll see, we'll see. I, I, I do want to try to... I don't want to immediately, because things don't aren't working like 100% the way I would like them to work, I don't want to immediately abandon my plans for, you know, having a vanilla playthrough, but... On the other hand... On the other hand... Okay, security door. Good, good, good. Uh, what else might we want? Medicine production. That's probably a very important thing to get going. What can I do with the machining table? What machining stuff? Uh, shred mechanoid. That, that's always good. Uh, I don't really feel like making any of these things. I mean, having some extra EMP launchers would probably be useful. Uh, clothes wise, I don't know if I need to make any clothes for anyone just yet. Now, what does the bandolier do again? It... General late. Oh no, that must be construction. What does this do? It... Uh, due to its bulk, it can't be worn under other clothing. Okay. Uh, it doesn't cover the body, so it can be worn happily by Nudis and Yidikin. Uh... What slot does this fill? Outer layer. So I, I don't think I can wear body armor with this, can I? Though it's funny, I don't actually normally... Middle and outer layers. Ooh. You know what? I'll, I'll craft a couple just because. I mean, I don't think I can... I don't think I can make any. Like, really? But, uh... You know, we'll kind of... We'll see how things play out, maybe. Uh, I don't want anyone less than eight. I'm pretty sure we have people who are more than eight, don't we? The answer to that question is yes. Yes, we do. And I'm actually going to make you... You can focus on the crafting. Uh, maybe something like that. There's no particular reason for setting it up that way. I just felt like doing it. Uh, but as far as, like, useful clothes are concerned... Uh, let's see here. Do we have anything... We don't have any children yet. And God help them when they arrive. If they arrive. At any point in this game. Now we'll make ourselves... We'll make ourselves a couple of hats. Because hats are nice. Hats are cool. Oh my god, so many... So many chunks. Maybe too many chunks. Maybe I should, uh... Good lord. Okay, you know what? I am starting to think. Let's, uh, let's, again, tone things down just a little bit more. 
Just a little bit. Oh, I can't have it as an even 100. That's going to irritate me because that's going to cause unevenness. So I'll be 1% over rather than under, just because. Because I assume, arbitrarily, I'm assuming that it will round these things down. All right, we are also... No, you revealed a chunking hole. Oh, and there's like a hole there. Now, judging by that, there might be an opening here as well, so that's mildly concerning, but, uh, you know, you do what you can with what you got, and... Uh, how did, how did I... I guess you go... You go here, I suppose. And some more... I should eventually replace the steel auto doors with plasteel, because plasteel doesn't burn. How are we doing on, uh, the old marble. We have a fair amount of marble. But if we are going to marble up everybody's floor, then we might not have a lot of marble forever. Do I want to give them fine marble? The answer is that would be insane. Don't do it. Don't do that. Uh, how do I want to set this up? I do want to give nice marble floors. Then maybe like a fine carpet in the middle. That's a lot. I mean, if I'm going to, I'm going to do that. I might as well make the outside fine marble, right? Give everyone like really nice rooms. Maybe I'm going overboard with that, but it does kind of feel like if I'm expecting, uh, excuse me. Oh, right, right, right. Were those always separate things? I feel like there was a time where if you just hit smooth, it would smooth everything regardless of what its material was. That could be me misremembering. I might be crazy. It does happen. A little better the crazies now and then. A never harbinger tree? All right, what do we got here? There's even more of them. I mean, sure, why not? There we go. And if we look at our storage, uh, we only want human-like corpses and entity corpses. Why not? I mean, do I want to keep feeding these things? I could chop them down. Like, I don't have to, I don't have to feed the trees is the thing. Wait, is that the same? Is that the same bunch of trees from before? It must be. And we have a fleeing... Okay. Uh, who do I want to be psychic? Aiden. Rena. Hmm. Because you get some psychiciness. I mean, it could be anyone, but we'll make it sure. Why not? Neato, cool. <laughs> Welcome to the team, crazy person. Uh, and you don't really do anything, so you know maybe. Maybe just go home. Huh? Maybe? Would you like to do that? No, no, get out of there. Get out! You fool! You foolish fool. Word of trust. What else can you do? Anything? Anything of interest? Uh, water skip. Okay, that's useful. Word of trust. Vertigo pulse. Wait, if you can use vertigo po uh, pulse, can't you just knock the hair out on your own? Like, what do you actually need me for? All right, yeah, and there you go. Well, that uh, didn't have, okay, it did have some effect. And we'll kind of, you know, see how that plays out for us going forward. Life is still going on here. Materials are coming together. 
A lot of marble. Someone will kill the rabbit at some point. Oh. Nito is being horribly butchered by the rabbit. Because you're incompetent. Huh. Yeah, just just hop the fence. Not the Not that fences actually stop anything. Or so it feels sometimes. Well, I mean, I'm not like I would expect it to stop a rabbit. Don't you dare land. <laughs> okay, get in the shuttle and get out of here. The rabbit is someone else's problem now. Don't worry about it. Why are you so slow, by the way? You're a jogger and you were, like, you were running really slow to begin with. Or so it felt. This is just embarrassing. You're really just embarrassing all of us now. Kill it. Kill it. Really? Alright. You know, at least Scaria is not contagious, unlike, um... Unlike, what would you call it? Uh, rabies in real life? That would be really bad for me, if it was. Alright, so we are making progress with stuff. Maybe a television would be pretty cool. Uh, shields. Shields would also be great. Growth vats. Uh, maybe the mineral scanner. Just because it'll take a while. Uh, you know what? I'm also thinking maybe... Well, no. Let, let's mine everything now and then we'll kind of, you know, work everything else out as we go along. And, yeah. Make our nice little, uh... Nice little bedrooms, which are really expensive to make, but eventually, once they are built, people will be happy. I mean, people will be happy to have their own bedrooms at last. That'll, you know, that'll be a great thing. And a little cream-colored carpets for everybody. Why cream? I don't know. It's a neutral color, I guess. And let's see. Just regular marble for outside. I want to, like, do something with the corridors. Like, maybe have, like, a regular carpet or something out there. Just because that seems like it would be neat. I'm eventually probably going to replace all the uh, slate smooth stuff with uh, with marble walls as well. Oh, nice. All the ladies in the colony are getting a little bit of soothing psychic relief, which is good. Uh, I think the people who are outside deserve to be moved inside first. And we'll give you a little end table there. And... Oh. And a little dresser. There we are. And another one of you. And another one of you. Alright. So that should make people a little happier. These are really big rooms. I'm not really sure why I felt the need to make them this big. But I did, so you know, there we are. Oh boy, these are gonna be busy for a while, aren't they? But you know what? I like it. Things are kind of coming along, and I don't have any uh, time-related stuff happening, so... Oh! What is this? Yuso and Alex... Or Yuso tried to woo Alex by talking about his own diet. Okay. Alex became aroused by this and agreed to become Yuso's lover. Alright. Uh, well, in that case, let's build a nice bed for the happy couple. Hopefully happy couple. Maybe I should be putting the beds in the middle of the room. Uh, who's my best constructorizer? That would be Buns. Buns, when you wake up, I require you to work on this double bed. Alright, so actually, everything's coming along. We're starting to run out of food here. Less good for me, but, you know, it's not completely terrible. We still need to replace that one guy's heart with this heart. But, oh, I shouldn't have killed that guy, because if I kept him alive as a prisoner, I could have done experimental surgery on him in order to level up. That's something I'd normally never do, but apparently I have just, uh, you know, committed to being a bad guy now. So, there we are. Uh, let's... And normally like dumping... Uh, let's put our rotting animal corpses in only rotten animal corpses 
And those will go in to the river because being in water makes things degrade faster. Now the downside to this is because I can't really control what else. Is there actually, is that true? I, I don't want to be lying to my viewers. I don't think there's anything where I can be like, oh, you know, only uh, drop animals that are uh, like within a certain range of home or whatever. So we might end up in a situation where people will stop what they're doing and just start dragging stuff across the map, which is kind of unfortunate and not really what I want, but again, life goes on. I don't know what to do with the slate. So much marble. Because like, I need to do something with the slate in order to... I guess we could maybe work on art. Make art out of slate. That way we would at least be doing something with it. You know what? I like that idea. Let's uh, put the art bench over here. I apparently can't queue up a job for it just yet, but that's okay. Uh, is there anything I want to be researching right now? Toxic gas wouldn't be bad. If we could set up like a, a gas tunnel, then we could also knock out our enemies doing stuff like that, which is good for me. Not so good for my enemies. Maybe some prosthetics. That would probably be a good idea. There, is there research? Hang on a second here. Is there research for uh, bionics? I feel like there is. Yeah, there we are. Ooh, what's this? Derek has had a breakthrough while studying the monolith. He believes the monolith is a conduit for psychic energy connecting to some distant location. However, he is unsure where or what it connects to. Derek is convinced that by studying more anomalous entities, he can find a way to close the conduit or learn to harness its power. The, mon blah, 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 blah. the monolith now provides more knowledge when studied. Ooh. All right, so we are making progress with that. I like that. Oh, look at that. Unknown. I, I like that. So there's some stuff that we just can't know until we actually research it. I like that. I really like how this whole uh, this whole expansion has been put together so far. Like, there's some stuff in it, especially, like, seeing some of the uh, early previews. It really reminded me of the old uh, uh, Lovecraft mod that I did several playthroughs using. No, which... I don't think it's been actively updated in a while, which is unfortunate, but, you know, life goes on and modders are, you know, doing it for free in their spare time, so... You know, you can't expect them to, you know, jump just because you want something. That's a generally a good attitude to have about most things, really. You can't just expect people to jump for you just because you want something. Uh, ah, undivided priest rule. That's right, we need, uh, priesty stuff for our Church of the Machine God. Uh, what do we want to research? Floodlights, huh? That's not new, I'm pretty sure. It doesn't feel like that's new, but it's good for out outside, so I like it. Alright, so overall, I mean, things are, they are coming together. Again, love the music here. Uh, let's see, maybe... Oh, we should probably make the Arcist form for our religion at some point. Oh, maybe not yet, because people will get mad that it's made out of, uh, or that it's not in, like, a... in, you know, the, uh, proper place. Uh, let's see here. Um, make a terror sculpture. Is that a thing we can do? Didn't realize our religion had terror sculptures, but apparently they do. Honestly, I didn't pay that much attention to what uh, what I could do with these things. I mean, I guess it makes sense to have terror sculptures. Or is this not ideology related at all? Person sized piece of material in a threatening form. Slaves who spend time around it will feel terror, which makes them stay suppressed longer and thus. Okay, so it is ideology related. Uh, let, let's carve like eight of them. We can stick them in the bedrooms. We can maybe stick them in our halls. Uh, let's see. Now, 
I kind of think having our temple here-ish would be a good idea. Now, how do we want this to look like? If we go under ideology, uh, reliquaries, we know we're going to have two with this particular ideology, so we'll want to make sure we, uh, you know, have spots for them eventually. Uh, but immediately, the lectern, the altar. Now, I, I've often put the, the light ball room in the temple, but I think I'm actually going to make a, like, a rave room. Do we want a gibbet cage? I didn't realize I had actually enabled some of this stuff. But apparently that's a thing. Alright. So... This is free by free. The pews are... also free by free. Which is not bad. How do I want to set this up? That's the question, isn't it? How do I want to set things up? Okay. Good, 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 good. I mean, maybe something like this. And then a little of this. And then a little of that. And then spaces here for the reliquaries to go into the walls. Yeah. Yeah, that seems... That seems pretty sexy. That's a, a worthy temple to the machine god. Uh, I think we're just going to have regular steel doors here. Eventually replace them with maybe like a, sec a security door. We need plasteel for this. Uh, good choice if you want to keep something dangerous out or in. Door requires walls on either side. Makes sense. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> well, actually that... That didn't end up being so bad. And all this obviously has to be made out of fine marble, because you can't have a you can't have a church to the machine god made out of you know cheap stuff. Well, I mean I guess we could, but that would be kinda disrespectful to the machine god. Uh, meanwhile, over here, everything is going nice. You know what else, now that I think about it? We have wall lights. Now we need ceiling lights. The final piece of the puzzle. Actually, not too bad. Is this gray Paul just going to last forever? The answer is apparently yes. Oh, oddly enough, it doesn't say how long it's lasted. I feel like... Was it a mod thing? Because I can't quite remember what it is. But there's like... Or with Toxic Fallout, doesn't it say how long the Toxic Fallout lasts? I guess we'll learn more about this. Maybe this Grey Paul, Pal, Paul, however you want to say it. Maybe it goes away on its own eventually. Maybe not. I don't know. I really want to, you know what? I, I am going to have to get that music box mod just so I can, if nothing else, see the names of these tracks as they're playing. Because they're just so nice. Honestly, just, like, from sound, I, I'm willing to argue at this point that perhaps uh, uh, Anomaly has the best music yet. At least in my opinion. That's all I can say. It sounds the best to me. And I just want to sit here and listen to it for a while. And maybe I will. I mean, things have been quiet for a bit, so perhaps I will actually follow through on what I was saying uh, about... Um, don't have any granite, that's a bit of a problem. Because I kind of want to fill these walls in eventually. Anyway, uh, I might just fast forward a little bit uh, between now and the start of the next episode. Just to, you know, get some stuff built and we can kind of, you know, we'll see where we are. I can do a little planning and we'll have something cool to show off when we come back next time. Uh, which, with that in mind, until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button, or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. And I will see all you next time.